Good morning, fam. This video is a must watch for those of you who still follow traditional cultures. I don't say there's anything wrong with culture, but a lot of traditions are steeped in witchcraft. I'm going to show you a clip of a young lady that I just come out of a deliverance session with. She was taken as a child to a healer by her grandmother to help her. So whether it was for protection, whether it was for sickness, whether it was for whatever. And there are many parents who take their children. And there are many people who have been taken as children to these altars, traditional altars for healing. Because you hear that this person has a gift. There's no gift. It is demons. This young lady was married to a mermaid, a siren spirit. And I had this thing screaming at me for the better half of our two-hour session. Please watch it. If the pit now in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a command. We crush your head. Go now to the pit. She is not yours. Crush your head. Get out of her and go to the pit. Every part of you must leave her. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Fire of the Holy Spirit. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Get out fully. Go to the pit. In Jesus' name, it is a command. In the name of Jesus Christ. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Get out and go to the pit. Get out and go to the pit. Now, we crush your head with the sword of the living God. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Come out of her and go to the pit. Now, in the name of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus. Now, out in the name of Jesus Christ. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Come out now and go to the pit. In the name of Jesus. Now, go. 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 We crush your head. Thank you, Jesus. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Everything out to the pit in Jesus' name. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Out to the pit. Now you go. It is a command in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. I said now. I said now in Jesus' name. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. You break and you come out of her fully and completely. We crush your head with the living word of God, the double-edged sword. We crush your head with the sword. We crush your head with the sword. We crush your head with the sword in the name of Jesus. We crush your head. We crush your head. Thank you, Jesus. Everything comes out. Of this young lady and goes to the pit. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Everything comes out. Body in the name of Jesus Christ. We crush your head with the sword of the living God. Fire, 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 fire in the name of Jesus. I strike you with the sword of the living. If you've been taken to these altars, or you're still taking your children to these altars, or you still visit these altars of Satan's kingdom under the guise of tradition, this is what you could possibly be married to. And that is why things in your life is in full blockage mode. There's lack in the finances, lack in, the, in, in every department. No marriage, no progress. For the Lord to open your eyes to the spiritual witchcraft and warfare that is happening under the guise of traditional altars closing i will say this it is such a shame that the church will not teach people about spiritual warfare it is such a shame that the church has no knowledge of what happens in reality because the church has been clouded and shrouded with religion and keeping the shiny side on top instead of digging deep and teaching people how to be free from demonic strongholds because many of the people that sit with these same siren demons go and sit in the pews in the churches every Sunday and they have no freedom, no deliverance because the church is asleep.
God bless you, fam. If you have been taken to these altars, if you are taking your children to these altars, stop it. Those people work with demons and 99% of them, from what I've learned, work with marine kingdom spirit, which is your mermaid, which is your leviathan, which is your crocodile spirits. Please, please, please wake up to the spiritual realm. It is more real than the natural realm. God bless.